Welcome back. It's the end of January. There's not a lot to do in the garden per se, but there are a lot of tasks that still need to be done. The first thing I'm working on today is I've got my plant sitting in the doorway of our seed starting shed. They need some, what's called a hardening off period. That it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. You have to kind of get them acclimated to the sunlight before you put them out in it. So today's a really good day to start this process because it's cloudy. There's not a lot of sunshine, but it is natural light. So I'm gonna give them probably 30, 45 minutes in that light. This weekend, we're hoping to get some low tunnels put up on some of our garden beds so that we can plant these brassicas next week. So we'll see how that goes. The other thing I'm working on is I'm getting some cups ready because it's coming. These are gonna be really good for tomatoes. Um, I still have, I still do have some cabbage and I think some more broccoli that I need to put, I'm gonna need to pot up. And these are pretty good because they're a little bit taller than your average flower pot. So you can get more dirt and that gives your roots more room. So simple process. They're also a little cheaper than buying the plastic flower pots and they're, they're heavier duty in a lot of cases. Um, simple process, they do need drainage holes. So I have an awl here. I'm just gonna take these cups and I like to stack them about three at a time and I'm just gonna poke some holes. I poke about four holes in the bottom. And that'll be ready to go. Now I've been seeing a lot on YouTube that some people are using these like this. They don't poke one of them. And then they'll take one of the drainage ones and put it inside it. And that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna try that this year and see what happens. If nothing else, it'll save me from having to buy a million trays to keep all of the pots in. I think here a little bit, when we go to check on those plants that are hardening off, we're gonna go, we'll go get the eggs too and see how the ladies are doing. Everybody's about done molting and the days are getting a little bit longer. So we should start seeing egg production go back up pretty quick and that'll be nice. So what are you working on right now? What kinds of things are you doing in your garden? You starting any seeds yet? How's it going? As always, if you like this content, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll never miss one of our videos. We'd love to have you. Back there. I have these eggs. Oh, you got more. Goodness gracious, ladies. How many eggs did y'all lay today? That is crazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's see. How many are there? I don't know. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16 eggs. 
Holy cow. Thank you.